Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard, and today we're going to give you an update on the Universal Great Britain project happening in Great Britain. As you may or may not have known, the amazing Alicia Stella was breaking the news on a rumor update that Universal was looking to build a new theme park in Great Britain. And a day later, Universal came out and actually confirmed they're looking to build uh, a theme park in Great Britain and even confirmed the land purchase and land area in Bedford, United Kingdom. Oh. Universal set up their own Universal, Universal Great Britain um, website. Uh, it's like Universal UK a website there. And they actually had their first community meetings yesterday. That At the time of recording is April 14th. They had their community meetings on April 13th. They're going to have another one on April 16th, and the public actually has a chance to comment on the proposed project by May 3rd, and then Universal will make a decision in June if they're actually going to build this project. If they build this project, it's expected, it's expected to open in 2030, and let's go ahead and talk about the community engagement and the whole pro planning process and Universal's whole plan for this site right now. Yeah, so as I previously mentioned, the community is are encouraged to, you know, Give their take. There's an online survey you can take and put an all put a link in the comments below for the online survey that you guys can take. But there's a service you can take and write comments. You can uh, leave feedback here. Um, the public is encouraged to do that. They have again until Friday, May third. Put all their positive, negative, or whatever concerns they have. Feedback here for Universal and for Bedford for the upcoming project. Then of course Universal Work is going to greenlight that. I decided whether to move forward with the project based on the feasibility feasibility of the site and the neighbors' concerns and neighborhood uh, response. Uh, and Universal gave a preliminary site plan for the site, and they separated it into four zones: the Lake Zone, the Core Zone, the West Gateway Zone, and the East Gateway. Zone. These zones are very important, but just know the theme park stuff will be in the Core Zone and in the Lake Zone, and infrastructure improvements and train improvements stuff in the west and east gateway zones if universal decides to go ahead with this plan this is their proposed site plan for phase one and phase two of the project so starting off with phase one you can see they have they separated that zone or those four zones into different zones here you can see in phase one they have tp tps in that red zone that is theme park and theme park support space and that massive kind of red block up north that is about the same size as islands of adventure they can build an islands of islands of adventure size theme park there with a back of house support there and as phase one for this potential then in the green zone according to the you know, legend htr.e is a hotel and experiences so hotel there's a proposed potential rumored 500 room hotel Universal seems to like to do those 500 room hotels. There's again one coming to Hollywood that's 500 rooms. So, 500 room ho hotel here. Um, and this area plus some entertainment experiences, maybe like a mini city walk type of experience. Underneath the hotel and city walk area will be the big CP5 light pink shaded area, and that is a big surface parking lot that could be redeveloped with a parking garage later in later phases. As Urza redeveloped with theme park space, a second theme park, um, and then parking garages could be built elsewhere, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And then the TM up there, is a, or TH, is a transpa transportation hub for the trains, buses, and rideshare vehicles coming to the park. Then, over across the street, you see the TMP, that's temporary construction, that's staging areas for the theme park, and of course, you see the green areas, the LA, that is the landscape area, that is the berm that will separate the theme park from the residents and company parking structures and businesses and create a nice uh, berm and visual entrance, visual separation between the theme park resort and the outside world. There are two rail stations the Universal is proposing, some infill rail stations, and those are in purple, deemed RS, and we'll get into the actual names of those stations in the next, another slide, but yeah. These, this kind of fit in right next to the transportation hub, and they expect about 40% of their res uh, visitors to be coming in by the train, which is pretty awesome. If all goes well, phase one could open by 2030, that's in just six years, and we'll even have a little bit of a construction timeline that in one of the later sides, but construction would start next year. But here's phase two. This is the total master plan. We have phase one is done, and then phase two, when we get to that part, the previous Cifras parking lot area would be another theme park that's TP, T 
DPS and CP, so they had um, theme park and theme park support areas, as well as a car park, which would be a, could be a parking garage there. Then, in the other temporary uh, construction areas, the staging areas, you see MB that is mixed use. That could be theme park, could be a theme park resort, could be a um, hotel, could be a massive entertainment complex, city walk type area. It could be a mix of everything, right? It's almost like Disneyland 4, where it's just a mix of uses. Um, they could have theme park experiences. It could have, uh, the Universal can have escape rooms and things like that. They could put whatever they want and, and maybe another theme park. Who knows? But um, right now, they're, the whole match plan plans for at least two theme parks and then maybe a massive Disney Springs or an entertainment area up to the north. So, and also interesting to note, is a massive rec recreational area. Maybe that could be used for camping, or maybe it'll just be a nice little park or picnic area, but a pretty sizable uh, recreation area, which would be quite nice to chillax from the theme parks while, uh, you know, if you want a nice space to breathe, that'd be pretty cool. And hopefully, again, such a big area, maybe there'll be a little campground, maybe there'll be a little, kind of like Disney's Fort Wilderness, but like Universal's version of that. I just want to quickly dig into this side plan here that shows all the neighboring towns you have. Bedford is the main town. They have Kempston, Wooden, Stewart, Stewart B, and Wixoms. I hope I pronounced those correctly. If you're anyone's here watching from the UK, I am so sorry if I mispronounced any of those names. But you have two info stations proposed on two train lines here: the Thames Link and the Marston Vale Line. That's what we saw in those two transportation hubs and those two rail stations. The Universal will be building um, two info rail stations to, uh, yeah, get most of the people there by rail. If anyone's driving though, they can drive on A421 on B530 and get off at Manor Road. Universal has proposed some height limits for their own site, and they say the maximum any structure height any structure will be is 115 meters, which translates to about 377 feet here in the non-metric system. Uh, here, so that is pretty tall. I mean, you can fit some pretty tall structures like uh, Volcano Bay, uh, of course, Hogsmeade, and then it's nowhere near 300 feet. But you can put some pretty, pretty tall structures, um, including hotels, could be 300 feet. So, pretty, pretty tall site. And there's definitely a full theme park resort coming to this area if Universal decides to proceed with that. And lastly, yes, I want to show you that timeline. So, this is the construction traffic management plan. It would really be for internal roads and stuff, but this will give you a timeline of what Universal is looking at for the actual theme park itself. You can see um, the first phase would be and start towards the end of 2025 with the project site um, thereafter. And then mid-2027, that first phase will be complete. And then the second phase will be coming on and be finished by 2029. Of these of this roadway project to get the site ready for the theme park and of course that would be complete mid 2020 or end of 2029 which would coincide with the theme park opening in 2030. so yes that is all what we have all the stuff we have now for universal great britain latest updates but i have bookmarked that website i will be keeping an eye on it and there's again community meetings again on tuesday then of course universal will make their decision on in june about if they're going to green light the project and go ahead with it. So I'll go ahead and make a video when that happens. But yeah, lots of information on this website. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the comments below. Lots of cool stuff, site plans, renderings, and all that good stuff. But if you like this video, press that thumbs up. And also, if you want to contribute a little bit more to the channel, you can become a YouTube member by pressing that join button down below. Or, and also, uh, Clicking on my Patreon, the Patreon link will come up on the end screen, but also it's on patreon.com slash club722. Follow all my other socials, you can see it on the screen right above you, and then otherwise, have a universal.